Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Samantha Leanne and I talk about books. It's the final, final, final video in my like year-end wrap-up type stuff where we're going to talk about going forward what my goals are for 2019. So this is going to be like a pretty short and sweet video because I, you know, like I've got goals. I got goals but nothing like super crazy so before we get started the first thing that I want to say before I um, forget is that I have created a channel feedback survey which will be linked in the down bar below or up above or somewhere it will be in multiple locations but really it's just a way for you guys to give me feedback you know what can I do to improve my channel or you know whatever the case may be I would really love it if you would take like five minutes of your time and just fill that out be honest but don't be rude and just you know let me know what your feedback is on my channel and, and that kind of thing. It's completely anonymous, so, you know, you don't have to worry about that. But if you guys could do that for me, I would super appreciate it. So thank you in advance. First of all, thank you to Amanda from A Beautiful Bookworm because for Christmas, I had put a bullet journal on my wish list and I was like, I had thought about bullet journaling and I was like, you know what, if this makes its way to my apartment, then this is a sign that I need to start bullet journaling. And she sent me a bullet journal, which I have already started doing spreads in because I was so excited about it. So I'm really excited about this. I'm really excited to kind of like organize it. Um, I did have a like reading planner type thing last year, but um, having a pre-made one, it didn't really work for the functions that I wanted it to work for. You know, I don't make TBRs and there were pages and pages dedicated to TBRs and things like that. And so it just didn't work for me. So I'm really excited to be able to create my own spread and you know, like what's gonna work and what's not. So that's my first goal in 2019 is to actually utilize this bullet journal. So I am gonna go through and like show you some of my spreads today. So first is just my 2019 goals page and I kind of have it separated by like general YouTube and then like, you know, other social media platforms. So first thing, let's just talk about general goals. So first general goal is just to read 100 books. In the past two years, I have set it to 75. And I have blown through that so quickly that I figure why not just we'll go ahead and up it to 100. And if I make it, I make it. If I don't, I don't. Another thing that I want to do in terms of reading. So right now we're talking about like general reading. Um, another thing that I want to do is to complete the Book Riot Read Harder Challenge. And basically what that is, is it is a, it's like 24 different prompts and it's mainly geared towards like diverse books and so so like for example an own voices book set in Oceana um, a book of manga a book with an animal or object POV a book by or about someone neurodiverse things like that and I did create a spread for that just where I'm going to have um, you know what the prompt is put the title and author here completed and then what my rating was and this goes over two pages and then like you know what the star ratings were and things like that you know nothing super fancy just you know some washi tape and you know something cute and not all of those prompts are considered diverse but I thought that it would be useful in again just kind of stepping outside of my comfort zone and the prompts are specific but they're not like overly specific so I can kind of like it's a year-long challenge and it's only 24 prompts so I can go through and you know really continue to mood read because we've already talked about how TBRs don't work for me and that kind of goes into another one of my goals which is just to continue to read diversely um, in my stats video I talked about um, you know in terms of diversity in the books that I read in 2017 about 19% of what I read would be considered diverse in 2018 about 27 percent of what I read would have been co is considered diverse and I'm happy with how far up that has come but it's not enough it's definitely not enough so I definitely still do need to work on making that number higher another spread that I have in my journal here is for my Stephen King challenge so my goal is to get through at least 12 of his books in the publication order. I made it through, I think, nine, I want to say, but I read more than nine of his books because I did read, I read the Bill Hodges trilogy and I read The Outsider and I think I read one other one, I'm pretty sure. So I just created this little um, spread with my Overlook Hotel washi tape 
um, King in 2019. I am not like super artistic here, but just, you know, the name of the book, when it was published, date completed, and then the rating. And I've got two pages here, left myself a page, um, you know, for the wrap up or if I finish more than 12. So that's the thing. Another one of my goals when we talk about authors, you know, we just talked about Stephen King. Um, I do want to read more female authors this year, especially female written horror. Um, and I have several books on my shelves right now that I can't wait to get to um, by female written by female horror authors, you know, and just female authors in general. Last year, it was about 54% male. So I would like to see women overtake the halfway point next year. I'm definitely gonna make a conscious effort to do that. And I also want to read more nonfiction. I did read more nonfiction this year than I have read in years past. And I really enjoyed a lot of the things that I read. I read a lot of true crime, which, you know, that is very me. Um, but I did read some memoirs this year that I did really enjoy. And so I want to continue that trend and, you know, really like read more widely, you know, from people whose experiences are different from mine. And then the last general goal that I have is to just read more of my own books. I did already do a specific video um, where I analyzed my bookshelves and really talked about what I own and how that's different than what I thought and the number of physical books that I owned. And I am going to be checking in from that series quarterly. If you want to go through and watch that video, I will link it in a card up above so you can check that out. But again, I want to thank Desiree from Libri Labra, um, who created the spreadsheet that I used and really gave me the idea for that video series. I will also link her video up above her original shelf mastery video that you can go watch if that's something that you thought about doing in the new year. So then let's talk about YouTube goals, right? And goals for my channel. So of course, you know, the biggest goal that everybody sets is subscriber goals. Um, I did hit 1K this year, which, you know, over two years was, I thought, pretty good. Obviously, I want people to watch my channel or I wouldn't be doing this, but I really love the friendships that I've made from doing this. And so like if I don't reach 2k by the end of 2019 like I'm not going to be upset about it. Another thing that I want to do is just become more articulate when talking about books. I know that whenever I don't like something like I can be really fucking specific about it and I can tear it apart and even whenever I just feel okay about a book I can be really specific but when I really love a book all I can say is like oh my god I loved it so much like I can't I have trouble being like really specific and so in an effort to do more of that I really want to do at least one single book review a month whether it's on a backlist title that I really enjoyed or whether it's on a new release probably more backlist because that's tends to be what I focus on I really just kind of want to hone that craft outside of my Stephen King series so that's something that you can kind of look forward to um, in the coming months um, I want to like I said post at least once a month maybe more it just depends and another thing that i want to do before the year is out is i want to like either be on a live show or like host a live show because i just feel like that would be so fun um i've thought about doing it a couple of times like when i hit 1k i thought about doing it but i was you know that fear of oh my god i'm gonna do this and nobody's gonna like you know like show up and it's gonna be real awkward and I'm gonna feel like an idiot for doing this. So that's something that's kept me from doing it. But I think that it, like, you know, as I continue to grow my audience or whatever, then, you know, hopefully I'll be able to actually like host a live show at some point. And then the last, I'm gonna put this in the YouTube category just because I wouldn't know these people without YouTube, um, but I am going to, it's a goal, but like I'm gonna do it. Attending Book Net Fest for 2019 again and being able to see my family again because I miss you all so much. No, but really, I really do miss you guys. But it was like one of the best experiences and I think like now that I've done it once and I kind of know what to expect and you know, maybe being able to go down for an extra couple of days and spend some more time um, you know with my family I'm referring to you guys as my family forever and always now but spending more time with them and you know being able to maybe explore the area a little bit more too so so those are really the general goals that I have going into 2019 now like I said I did already create my bullet journal spread for January and I started on February because I have no chill but I'm gonna kind of do a quick little um, flip through for you guys and, and talk you through what I did and why I did it and that kind of thing. Um, so yeah. 
so once again here are here's my little flip through so my king spread which look at that sad little um spider web in the corner i know it's real sad right i gave myself a little bit of extra room i can always paste these pages together if i need to so again, with the Read Harder Challenge, I'm really looking forward to the fact that there are so many different books for each of these prompts. So, you know, I can continue to, you know, mood read and I have a whole month, not a whole month, I have a whole year to do all 24 challenges. So then my second page, and here is my first calendar spread. Just, you know, something really, really simple. Um, I'm again, not the most artistic person in the world. I'm really not. So I gave myself, you know, pages read, just kind of fill that out 150, 200, whatever. Um, new releases that I'm really excited about. So in January, if you guys have seen my 2019 release video, which I'll link in the corner right up here. Um, you can check that out because each of these videos, not videos, because each of these books I talk about um, in a little bit more detail. I have a spot for all of the books that I have completed. And then my TBR stats, because I am gonna be, you know, taking that more into account. So TBR start, TBR end, any books that I haul, and then any books that I unhaul. So I can kind of see what's going in and out every month. And then for my wrap up, total number of books, pages, and audiobook hours, places for star ratings, um, genres, format, authors, age group. And another spread that I created for this month is the Read Your Shelves, which is hosted by Kathy. And I can't remember the other person that is hosted by, but I will have all of the information linked in the down bar below. And basically, it's just, you know, a way to get you to read more books off your shelves. So the whole point is to like, you know, it's a bingo board. Um, but I want to try and black this out. Um, the cool thing is even though there's 25 squares, one book can fit multiple categories. So if you have one book that can fit, you know, four or five different categories, you can fill that in for four or five different categories. Um, <clears throat> the only thing is it has to be a book that you own. So i um, really, really excited to do this and to knock some more books off of my TBR. And then the only other thing that I have in here for right now is just like social statistics, you know, different platforms, that kind of thing. Um, you know, where I start, where I end, and then, you know, how many I lost or gained throughout the month. I don't think that this is going to be something that I use every month. Um, it's just something that I saw in a lot of, you know, different spread videos and stuff. So I figured I would try it. But again, numbers isn't something that I'm super concerned about, but I figured I would try it for the month and then I just left myself another page just in case and I went ahead and started February because like I said I have no chill just you know something cute and then same thing here and that's as far as I've gotten so there is the flip through for my bullet journal so yeah I hope that you enjoyed that little flip through um and those are the goals that I have set for myself for 2019 what are your goals for the next year comment down below and let me know you can also contact me on goodreads twitter and instagram if you want to have a more personal conversation all of those links can be found in the down bar below as always if you like what you see and you want to see more make sure you click thumbs up and hit subscribe if you have not already Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. And next time I will probably be back in front of my shelves. Um, just wanted to change up the location a little bit. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye.